Okay. His name is Everest. Everest lives in West Newton, Massachusetts, and he is a morning dove. He just made the decision to leave for a warmer climate because it is way too cold in Massachusetts. He is just leaving Massachusetts and is starting to get tired. He's starting to slow down. For the long journey, Everest gained strength and is starting to move faster. Finally, after five hours, Everest is happy to have found a new city. Everest sees a pigeon and flies down next to him. Now Everest is preparing for his long journey south. Once Everest ar arrives in the big city of Washington, D.C., he is surprised by the large crowds. He learns to dart in between people with little attention and great speed. Everest knows he cannot stay here, so, so he decides to leave. Everest ha has improved his... Everest sees a small town and decides to stop by the water. This town is Wilmington, North Carolina. Everest spends a lot of time in the lake. He notices that fe his feathers are becoming oily. This means that he has developed a gland. Unfortunately, he is struggling to find enough food, and he knows he must continue his journey south. Before he leaves, he gets attacked by a cat. He barely escapes into the air. Everest is struggling to fly over the ocean. He gets attacked by seagulls many times, but he manages to fend them off. After a long journey over the ocean, Everest arrives over the city of Miami, Florida. In Miami, he meets a bird named Joe that he recognized from Newton. He keeps his distance, but quietly observes. Everett makes his final short trip over, the, over to the Everglades. He is stunned by all the life in water. Everett jumps into the murky waters and rolls around in the dirt to camouflage. His wings start to turn green to help him camouflage from predators. Everett stretches out his legs to nearly three times the length, allowing him to wade in the water so he can easily eat algae. And on top of his new wading feet to help him wade. Everest has a working gland, but would still rather stay dry in the warm temperature of the Everglades to help him fly. He also loses some of his feathers to help him in the warmer climate. In addition, he gets a much longer filtering beak for eating algae. Everest knows that these changes will help him live the longest in the Everglades.